Foxy fans, and welcome to the very first episode of Pokemon Shield Wonderland! I finally decided what I was gonna do. I spent countless hours staring at my screen like, what do I do with Pokemon Shield? There's gonna be a gajillion Let's Plays and Playthroughs. There's gonna be normal nuzzle locks. I saw A Drive doing some sort of bug lock. Tyranitar Tube, he's my favorite. He's just doing a normal playthrough. Plenty of walkthroughs. So I was like looking it up and then I was watching you, Q, the Costa Rican. And put his little description up here. He's a cool guy. Make sure to check him out. He uh, was messing around with the settings. Uh, apparently there's like a, I forget what it's called, but it's like Wonder Trade in uh, Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and After Sapphire is in this game as well. And that just hit me like a rock, like a boulder. And I was like, Absolutely! I need to do a Wonderlock of S.H.I.E.L.D. that will be so much fun! Especially because we're kind of limited in the Pokemon we can catch. And doing like a normal Nuzlocke is kind of difficult with the Pokemon kind of pop up. I mean, you have to really be paying attention on, oh, this was the first Pokemon that popped up in the route. But anyway, with a Wonderlock, I can just catch the first Pokemon I see. And then I can trade it online. And... I will have to use whatever Pokemon I receive from that Wonder Trade. Or whatever it's called. And we'll figure out what it's called in a minute because I forgot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Wonder Walk rules will be down in the description. So check them out. In short, it's just the normal Nuzlocke rules without nicknaming your Pokemon. But you do only get to catch one Pokemon per route. You have to Wonder Trade it right away. And then you keep the Wonder Traded Pokemon. And that's your actual technical encounter. So let's get this started. Let me choose my gal here. All right. This beginning sequence is a little long. So let me kind of talk about what I plan to do with the wonder lock on this game while we're waiting for all this pig of a jig going on here. Um, so what I was thinking with the wonder lock, obviously normal routes, you can just encounter the first Pokemon you receive and then um, wonder trade it off. Well, in the wild area, in a sense, it's a little more difficult, but there's a section for each wild area. And what I decided I could do is each section counts as a new route, obviously. But depending on how many actual routes are in this game, because I haven't made it very far in my own, you know, playthrough of it. Um, depending on how many routes there are, and this might ch change throughout the playthrough here. Um, whenever I get a gym badge, I can go back and pretty much it resets the wild area so if I've caught a Pokemon in that specific area of the wild area I can catch another one and wonder trade it off. That was just my thinking. We'll see if we can encounter enough routes throughout the game where I won't have to do that but I just wasn't sure how limited the routes were since we have the wonder area. But all right we got Champion Rose here. Champion Rose. Wow I already got that wrong. We got Announcer Rose here. Chairman Rose. Announcing that Mr. Leon, our sexy friend, is here to show us what he's made of. And I thought it was so funny the first time that I saw Galar, or no, Gigamax Charizard. Because he is so short, right? He's only 5'7", and he's obviously shorter than Leon. That his Gigamax form just makes up for the fact that he's so dang short. <laughs> Alright, but let's watch this opening sequence here because it is pretty cool. I mean, look at that Charizard man. He is pretty bad A. Eh? I was kind of disappointed though that I don't think I saw any of the other starters but I haven't really looked into much of the game or the Pokedex or anything. Um, but I didn't see Bulbasaur and I was pretty sad about that. I was hoping for a gigantic spiky toxic Venusaur but I don't think we get that. I think they just focused on Charizard since that's what Champion Leon has. Oh, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. What am I doing? Just sitting on my phone on the couch. Oh, that's actually what I do anyway. <laughs> Who is it? I'm on my phone. Leave me alone. I'm watching YouTube. Hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone, Foxy? That doesn't even make sense. My flash new phone. 
Why are you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? Bet you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Our mom looks so spiffy in these games. Like, she's adorable. And I love that she's wearing, like, either gardening boots or rain boots, but they're freaking adorable. Anyway, there is a lot of dialogue at the beginning of this, so I will probably kind of just skip over some of it so we can get right into the game. Oh, he's so cute, the little munch, like, sleep in there. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to wake you up. Gers. Hey, Mom, you look looking fly. Yeah, I'll grab my bag. My big old... Oh, I guess your big old bag. It's like twice my size, man. I guess it's gotta fit everything, huh? And not just a tiny little fanny pack <laughs> that apparently is supposed to fit everything that we pick up. I have to say, I adore the way they set up like the load screen of the map and stuff. We are ready for an adventure. You don't even know what you're getting yourself into, Foxy girl. What do you want, Hop? Hey, do. All the little Pokemon you can interact with is pretty great, too. Ha ha ha. Have you have a look at you, Foxy. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's huge. Uh, but I need to hold a Snorlax one day. Who knows? This crazy Wooloo. It's got some serious brain damage or something. Dude, you just need to chill. Take a chill pill. Yeah. My favorite thing so far in this whole freaking game are the sprouting Wooloo. Look at them sprout. They're just like little plants. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Is he here? Gosh, he's so impatient. He reminds me of the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum rival. Barry, I believe his name is. Oh, so hyperactive. And this guy pumps air like no other. Well, I would move if you'd move out of the way. Thank you. Route one, so fancy. Fine, mate. I was trying to, so I was sitting here trying to duplicate, trying to figure out how to have like an English accent and I could not for the life of me do it. So, <laughs> you're just stuck with my normal voice. Wedgehurst, oh, who's that guy? It wouldn't happen to be Captain Underpants. Oh, he's embracing the Captain Underpantsness. He's totally, I mean, come on, he's got the cape. He's got the whitey tidies. It's perfect. And now that I've said every word in the English dictionary, it's time to move forward. This is my favorite part though. The way they introduced the starters is adorable. I can't skip over this because it's too great. Ricky, score bunny, and Sable. By the way, guys, take a look at the question of the day. Um, I just wanted to know what version y'all picked. We got short, sword or shield. I see a lot of my online friends playing sword, so I'm thinking that's the more popular one, but let me know down in the comments which one you chose. And of course, do not forget to smash that like button for me so that this wonder lock can go on forever, eternity, and we don't, we don't lose. That like button is our lucky button. And then of course, if you feel like it, go ahead and subscribe and jingle that little bell so you don't miss an episode. And here they are, little little Pokemon making that sad Sobble feel better. They're so cute. Sadly, we don't get to keep a single one of them. But because I love Grookey, I'm gonna choose Grookey anyway. And then I can send Grookey off into the world. Aw, Score Bunny was looking for a buddy. He was like, what about me? I've watched every match that he's ever had. I've read every book and magazine. Wow, this kid's really your top fan. I mean, I get that he's your brother, but gosh. All right, Wooloo. Goodbye, Wooloo. And you get just enough experience to level up and learn your starter's special attacking move. That's right, Pop. I noticed we didn't even get to name our arrival. 
You be my two Pokemon with your one. It's because we the boss. Mom, we got our first. Uh, I was so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to start my adventure. Look what happens. We get to go in the spooky forest of spookiness. That poor Wulu. He's gonna get eaten by a squirrel or something. We've gotta save it, of course. Here we go. What do you want? Come on, Fox. We can't just leave that poke. Yeah, I know. I know we can't leave it on its own, but I want to start my adventure. And I can't do nothing until we get done with all this dialogue stuff. Oh, what? I didn't know he was willing to heal your Pokemon here. Man, I was missing out on all that grind and stuff. I wasn't even close to you, fool. I'm sitting here battling it, and I realized, oh, wait, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be using Grookey. Let's run away. Here we go. Off into the creepy fog. Ooh. I wonder who could be there. Lulu probably is in trouble, to be honest. I'm sure it's already eaten by whatever creepy monster's here. So much fog. I thought that was a super cool aspect, though. That fog is so cool. This is mad. I can't see anything. <gasps> there he is. What in the... Oh! Greeld! I wonder how he, like... I want to know how he actually says that. Greeld! Game and Fox, we got this, baby! Let's beat him up! Poke him with your stick! Right in the eye! It's super effective! Oh, that didn't work. Ooh, his gaze is fixated on us. What is he, an illusion? Scare him with your fierce growl. Oh, so scary. Ooh. He farted. <laughs> Can't see anything! Just don't sniff in! Can we scratch him? Let's do it. Nope. That didn't work either. It's super effective! I wonder if this is that part of the game that's always going to happen like this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can't see anything. And that's it, guys. That's the game. The end. Game over. No, I'm just wow! We're dead. Oh! Hallelujah, we made it through. Hot Foxy! Captain Underpants! Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Him and his directions. Is Wooloo okay? Oh, look, there's Wooloo. Meh, yeah, you're okay. Charizard looks like he's about to eat you. I have to take a big chunk out of that fur. Do we even know what Wooloo looks like under that fur? I bet he's like a stick. Like a stick figure. He's just made of fur. And he's got the little tiny legs and that's it. No body. He's just a stick. Okay, bye mom. See you later. Love ya. Tim Tim. Yeah, Gluki is a sweetheart. Isn't he adorable? Don't get too attached to him though. Once we're done talking to everybody, we will be able to trade him off. See, before we couldn't go in the grass, now the game forces us to go in the grass. It's like, come on. Alright, we gotta catch our first encounter in the route, which is Rookie Deep. But once we get the verse feature so we can trade him off, then we'll have two wonder trades we can handle. Let's see if we can catch him, though. I knew it. So easy. Alright, we got Rookie Dee. So two members now to trade off. When we get the verse picture. Pickles. We're gonna name him Pickles. This music's great. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Oh, Rook! Oh, isn't Yamper just the cutest little fat dog? He's adorable. Looking for info on another never before seen 
super strong Pokemon. I wish he'd stop with that outlandish request. You know what? I don't even know any of his team. Obviously, he's got Charizard. But I wonder what else he's got. Whether he's got Pokemon f just from the Galar region, or does he have a variety? That makes me curious, because we haven't seen anything else besides Charizard. Even four badges in, I haven't seen anything else besides Charizard. It's a secret. I feel like that's probably pretty normal, though, because in none of the other gens we knew... Didn't we battle Steven a few times, though, before he... We challenged him in the Elite Four? In Ruby and Sapphire? I'm pretty sure. But besides that, nobody else we know who their team is, so I guess that's pretty normal. Hey, we have a Rodham. Hello, Nurse Joy from every other game in this series. Level with me, Foxy. Is this your first time? No, it's not. Sorry. And I know that if I said yes, you would just explain everything to me. Why don't you buy a potion? Why don't you give me a free one? That'd be pretty cool. Hee hee hee, this month's birthday's horror cup. She says the same thing every time. I tested it, trust me. Uh, birth month, 12. 31. I got it! Yep, that's my birthday. Let's see here. Hmm, what's the stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't read it. Ahem. <clears throat> People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon. Wow. It's like you told my future. Ha, huh, would you leave me alone? I know which way I'm going. <laughs> oh my god, kid. <sighs> Captain Underpants. Leave me alone. Oh, unless you're gonna give me Pokeballs. Okay. Now you can leave me. You go catch loads of Pokemon. Hop. Good for you. Alright, route two. Oh, I guess he was the guy closest to me. I don't know. First guy on the route, Choodle. So let's get him caught. And that'll be three Pokemon we get a wonder trade when we get there. Yes! Well, there's our third encounter. Our third wonder trade. I wonder who we're gonna get. Watch it be a freaking Choodle. Oh, look at that experience. You know what, I think I have to battle Hop again. And I totally have not even cared to trade my, these guys. I'm like, I have to trade him off anyway, so what's the point? A battle? I would have never guessed. Huh, youngster, Jake! Oh my god, that looks just like my husband, too. My husband's name is Jake, and that looks just like him. Like a kid version of him. Oh, that is so perfect. Jake, I'm gonna whoop your a booty. <laughs> All right, Pickles. Pickles, you leveled up. Oh, I didn't get a name, nickname to Choodle. I'm a horrible person. Horrible. Now they're just gonna get a Choodle and it's not funny at all. I don't know. Choodle is like, like a, you, you, you just put a, leave me alone. You put a Squirtle and a Turtwig together and you just mush them. It's like their love child. Look, it's the professor. Ooh, it's Professor Old Pants. She's researching the Dynamax phenomenon that apparently we don't know anything about. And yet we use it. Isn't that dangerous? Welcome. Please come in. This game does not teach you anything about stranger danger. Why, Hop, my dear. I've made cookies. Please sit down so we can talk to you the rest of the evening. And then talk to you some more in the morning. And then talk some more about tea. And then talk some more. <laughs> ah! The air pump! There it is! Air pump! Thanks, you held my Pokemon up. That was very kind. Now let's go outside and I'll show you that my, even my weak Pokemon can destroy you. And I haven't even trained up anywhere. I think there's something over here though. Haha, <laughs> I see you shining over there. It's like glowing. 
That's a great bow. Oh yeah. What a beautiful garden. Hurry it up. You know what, sir? I am working on it. Actually, I'm gonna go over here. No! You can't make me! I guess you can. That's not much I can do about it. Uh, of course I'm ready. To whoop your ass! Sucker! Oh, please, you old lady, come watch me. Show me an impressive battle! But now, he's dead. You sad little frog, you. And we beat him! That was so difficult. I was shivering, sweating, breathing hard. A letter of endorsement? Well, thank you, kind sir. We just needed your approval to go on a gym challenge, so here we are. Why did you even give one to Hop? He didn't even win. Is this like a participation trophy? I think it is. A shooting star? I wonder what those are. And there just so happens to be two of them. How convenient. Foxy, would you look at that? They're wishing stars. You obtained a wishing star. I wish I wish upon a star. That you guys would stop talking so I can continue with the game. I will be the greatest trainer ever! It doesn't work that way, bub. It's for the Pokemon. <laughs> Dynamax. Please give us a, the possibility to Dynamax. I understand your excitement, but let's get some rest until tomorrow. Whoa, Sonya, where'd you come from? Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry. Air pump! You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist! Gives you the ability to Dynamax. That was fast. We just get to Dynamax right out of the woods, huh? We haven't even started yet. And you're just giving me the ability to summon super big Pokemon. Didn't you ever think I could use that irresponsibly? Hop! Leave me alone, you big jerk. Yes, I know. I know how to crouch. I'm so sick of this. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Come on, Foxy. You'll never beat me to the station. Alright, guys. Now that we have the... Oh, it's called Surprise Trade. Now that we have the ability to Wonder Trade, I'm gonna end the episode here. This is episode zero, so make sure to tune into episode one, where we get to trade off our three current Pokemon for our surprise trades that actually start this Nuzzlelog. This first episode was just to get through the beginning of the game, but it looks like our Wonderlock is finally beginning. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you around next time.